If you're running a small business, you're going to need some bookkeeping software to keep track of your transactions. But how do you know which is the best bookkeeping software for your business? Well, you can read reviews all day long, but the reality is that your business is unique, so nobody can tell you exactly which software suits you best. What you need to do instead is make a list of exactly what you need for your business and then evaluate the options out there to see what suits you and what doesn't. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a list and then how to use it to choose the right bookkeeping software for your business. Okay, so what sort of things should you put on your list? Well, the first thing I would put on my list is whether there's a particular bookkeeping software my tax accountant wants me to use. Some accountants only use particular software, and if that's the case for your accountant, then that answers the question for you. For example, if they only use Xero, you'll have to sign up to Xero if you want to stay with the same tax accountant. But this is generally not the case with most accountants. It's highly likely you're free to choose your own software, so let's keep making our list. The next thing I would do is make a list of the specific needs of my business. For example, if you're a freelance graphic artist, you may only need to keep a record of your invoices, some basic expenses, and not much else. If you're a retailer, your needs might be a bit more sophisticated. You may do things like buy and sell inventory, pay staff, pay lots of different expenses, and use a point of sale register like Square. You may also have an online store like Shopify that you need to link to your bookkeeping software. Also, depending on your business, you may have other needs like the ability to account for multiple currencies, manage projects, account for fixed assets, or allow your staff to claim expenses. In a nutshell, you need to think about all the things you do in your business that affect your accounts and list them down. Once you've got your list, it's time to check out your options. If all you need to do is something simple, like track income from invoices and keep a list of expenses, you could start off with just a spreadsheet and see how you go. If that's the case, check out the links in the description below to our free Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets bookkeeping templates. They're completely free and it could be all you need to start doing your books. If, on the other hand, you need something more sophisticated, you could start by checking out free bookkeeping software options such as Wave and Zoho. Just grab your list and check out whether these options offer enough functionality to satisfy your needs. If not, you'll need to check out paid options such as Xero, QuickBooks and any others that are available in your country. Each of these options will have several paid plans to choose from and they'll all offer different things. The more expensive the plan, the more functionality they'll provide. So the aim of the game here is to find out which plans from each provider satisfies your needs and then pick the cheapest one. For example, let's say you transact in multiple currencies in your business. With Xero, you'd need to pick one of the more expensive plans to get that functionality, while in QuickBooks, you could pick the middle plan, which is cheaper than the Xero plans. Similarly, if you need to manage projects in your business, it's a paid add-on in Xero, but in QuickBooks, it comes included with the most expensive plan, so there's no need to pay for an add-on. So as you can see, there's a little process you have to go through to pick the best bookkeeping software for your business. Just go ahead and list down your needs, check out what the various free and paid options offer, and compare them to your list. 